All right, okie dokie. Thanks for sticking with us uh, right here on the AM Club. Uh, time for us to get into the plug quickly. And uh, here he is inside the studios. Um, his name is Mr. Wright Akwe. Wright Akwe. Simple. Thank you. Akwe. <laughs> what does Akwe, Akwe. What does Akwe no, mean? No, no, no. I, I, love, I love the way the name just hits. Like, it's simple and easy. Like, Okay. What does it mean? Detail. What does that for me? Um, well, I was told it means shortcut. Whoa. Uh, that's what you told. And Whoa. it's it's the Dangbe language. Because I, I, yes. I, I tried to ask you earlier if I was having the if I got the right pronunciation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For First of all, me. when my producer sent me the flyer to um you know uh, the flyer, I, I, I tried, I was like, why do we have this person's face? you know, covered, or the ba the back of his head yeah, showing. Yeah, 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 what yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. And I knew that we are up for trouble. So <laughs> <laughs> a, a visual artist that we, the visuals were like, We can okay, see the, this one, like, yeah. you can see the <laughs> visual representation of the person. Then, so my producer sent me your page, and I checked you out. And I'm like, what? This is brilliant, but I'm scared. I'm scared yes. for it. First of all, <laughs> It, w w your social media page is, please give us the it's hand. Bright Aqua. Bright Aqua. Yes. Go and check it out right now so you can relate to the conversation. Exactly. Check it out right now, follow him, and then come back. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> Why the kind of content that you post on social? Why? Um, simply because it is my art. That's how you express yourself. Yes, it's, it's my art. And um, I owe it to the world. I owe it to myself also mm -hmm. to share and interact with people. In that tone? Um, in whatever tone, you know, will express my mind. But mm. currently, yes, in the tone that people would see if they go online. But how did designing just start for you? I mean, um, drawing and all that. Well, um, for me, drawing was something that I used to do at home um, to pass the time. Okay. And I realized it was something that I got better at the more I practiced. Mm -hmm. And then I had the privilege to go to school um, in Accra Academy okay. and then to the KNUST mm. to uh, improve you know, my skill and my right. thinking around it. And, yeah. Oh, so you'd be blow boy? Yeah, <laughs> through and through. He came with the Accra. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? He has Accra. <laughs> oh, okay. Great. IT. Okay, fantastic. Now let's get to you know, the cartoons itself. Because, I mean, you go on your page, you realize that your paintings are more of a cartoonic yes. kind of yes. way. And uh, Because, I mean, ideally, other, other painters, we had someone who came in with mm -hmm. the paintings and she was much more of the feminine side, painting um, what women go through and all that. But yours is cartoons. Why cartoons? Um, I find that medium um, very accessible. Okay. It's very um, easy for almost anyone at all to be able to yes. look at and okay. um, you know appreciate or understand the kind of messaging that I'm trying to okay. put across. You know, um, usually you'd say cartoons are the reserve of children, yeah. but it's not entirely true. Mm. Or at least we've all been children before. Yeah. So um, if we haven't totally forgotten, then we know how to relate with cartoons, okay. and we know some of the, you know, some of the um, associated meanings or feel, feelings people would have towards them, mm -hmm. being something that is supposed to be fun, yeah. something that's supposed to be light-hearted, yeah. and and those are the kinds of cues that, um, you know, I I was interested in when I decided okay. to explore that medium. And then the comic side. Um, that is also another part of it. So you would also realize that the kinds of topics that I make my art about mm -hmm. are very touchy. Yeah. And um, usually people would rather shy away from discussing these things, mm -hmm. uh, albeit they are the things that literally dictate the quality of our lived experience here. Mm -hmm. You know. So how do you encourage people to talk about these very difficult topics without uh, maybe having certain flared up responses or emotions, mm -hmm. you know, open the conversation up with something that is lighthearted so mm -hmm. people appreciate the humor in it mm -hmm. first and they, then they we can. can. You see how stand up comics, yeah. you know, do their work. Yeah. They are able to go on stage and say some of the most um, critical things, yeah. but 
covered under the yeah, guise like of humor. Yeah. Uh, so you are able to, you know, first of all, laugh about it. And mm. then you go on to appreciate the more, you know, critical well, I'll tell you what. Uh, yesterday I was on the page and mm -hmm. I had a good laugh. I really had a good laugh before I slept. I was like, I was like Charlie, yo, this, this, guy, this guy just make my night. <laughs> like, I'm like, ah. But behind scenes, are you a political activist? Um, well, my work... My artwork has made me a political activist, mm. yes. But Did you intend to do that? Was that the intention behind it? Uh, it was never the intention. Oh, was it? Interestingly, it was never the intention. But, uh, you know, growing up in the time I grew up and also with the kind of training I had at home, you realize that uh, there is, let's say, there is a job that needs to be done. Something needs to be said or something needs to be fixed mm -hmm. for the benefit of yourself and then everyone else right. and someone needs to do the job so i guess uh maybe that is why uh, took up the responsibility, took up to the responsibility <laughs> you know yeah to speak the mind of the yeah speak my mind first and then mind, you realize and that a lot of people are thinking the same relate. things but mm -hmm. maybe don't have the the technology or the the skill to mm -hmm. be able to communicate it in this way in this way so, have you ever had backlashes um your job have you ever had any yeah because we've had people who advocate for <laughs> things like this have been threatened by political parties and people have you ever had that yeah it's something that comes with the work oh. once you you decide to do work like this mm -hmm. you know whether it's through painting or through music or any mm -hmm. other form of art mm -hmm. you know, those kinds of responses are expected oh, okay. and it's important because then you know the people you are speaking to are actually hearing you right so it would be is i think it's always better to have people respond mm -hmm. than to be ignored i know yeah <laughs> okay yeah. but key to wise yeah it's it's not the intention is not to cause trouble as um, uh, people may think but you you and i will both admit that you know these things need to be said mm -hmm. they need to be said not only by people who are in the political space mm -hmm. but uh, cultural producers also have to say it because mm -hmm. we all accept that you know art and culture yeah. is actually what moves the people and yeah. changes mm -hmm. people's mm -hmm. mindsets yeah. and changing mindsets will yeah. change the actions and change mm -hmm. the destiny so we shouldn't leave the political com conversations to just people who are career politicians mm -hmm. you need you need the artists to come on board you mm -hmm. need everybody the media yeah. bankers mm -hmm. parents everybody at all needs to you know, okay. contribute. So then again, you realize that in politics, of course, we have opposing sides. Yeah. Has, has there been any, any way where you've, you've had a political party come to you and say, you know what, um, uh, would want you to, you know, um, mimic this side? I mean, uh, um, paint this side, do it this way. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's happened before. Whoa. But it is not the, it's not the purpose for what I am doing. So when it has happened, I just uh, politely decline. Oh, you do? You do? Yeah, you, the, the, you have to. You have to, like, you need, as an artist, or just as a person, you yeah. need some integrity. Right. You know? Doesn't so, it come with so too much of a good money that you cannot reject? You should be able to reject good money. I see. That is the only way the principle will survive. <laughs> 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 you know? If I think if all the artists choose to accept these monies mm. and then turn a blind eye to the, you know, the rot that is yeah. in the system. Mm. Yeah. We aren't going to go anywhere. Sure. You know, so I, I, we all see this thing happening right now and, and uh, you know, somebody has to try and set an example mm. for what you can get if you maybe choose to be more principled or have more uh, integrity. Right. Uh, so that brings me to... Um, what do you do um, for, so is this what feeds you? Is this where you get your, uh, your, your daily from? Like, you know, is it, is it lucrative? Is this something you're doing for business oh, or for money? No, it's... Hey, what's uh, that? <laughs> How do you keep doing I that? I make art. I make, I make um, different kinds of art. Okay. So I'm not, all, uh, I'm not always making social or political commentary. Okay. Uh, besides, that project is my passion project. So, so I, that's like a charity project. That's how you give back this. Yeah, charity. that is what I do to give back. Okay. But I do other things which uh, bring you money. Yes. Art, art wise. related. Okay. Yeah. okay. But so let's come back to the art in Ghana. Uh, how do people accept uh, 
art in Ghana, like you know, paintings and stuff like that. How do yeah, you I think I think uh, Ghanaians and maybe, if I may say, the whole continent of Africa has always had art as part of um, the culture, okay. even stronger than than almost anywhere else you can imagine. But the perceptions about art has not always been the same as um, the kinds of um, you know, perceptions that we imported from Europe or America mm -hmm. or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And so the way people appreciate art will differ. Okay. Uh, if you talk about it being lucrative, mm -hmm. you know, for art to be lucrative, it will mean artists are making objects to sell. Yeah. And for people to be able to afford art, then it means they have to have, um, you know, uh, surplus income, mm -hmm. which is not something that you would admit, you know, the economy of, of the country at the moment mm -hmm. would, allow. would allow. There are more critical things mm -hmm. that people will have to spend money on before they can spend money on art. And so uh, I come from a school of thought that, that says that, you know, the artists have to create something else. Yeah. Perhaps give the art out as a gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it is important. If artists are only creating because they need to make money, then there is so much the society is not going to benefit from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So artists, I think artists would have to maybe you know change tactics a bit mm. because the society needs the art, but the art shouldn't be an object that they exchange okay. for money, uh, for money right. only. Right. You know, it okay. needs to be something that you know can benefit largely because. Mm. Uh, because yeah, I think uh, we had an artist here the other day, and I think she was trying to do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we're in a political year. Yeah. What do you have to tell Ghanaians, and what, how are we going to see that represent on your, on oh, your page? Oh, I think, I think it will be very, very interesting. I have a lot of interesting projects and ideas lined up. Okay. Not only because it's uh, an election, election year in Ghana, but um, I think the politics is, very, is at a very interesting um, point right now in the mm. country. Um, uh, you know, people should just expect something interesting. Okay. I think, uh, uh, what else can I say? Oh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no, there's there's, there's so much, there's so much, but yeah. uh, I, I don't even know how to summarize those, but mm. yeah. yeah, let's just say people should just look out for we'll interesting out for, things. Okay. No, but for the political year, because you, your, your, your comments on, on, on social, your creative Pro, uh, um, products on social media says it's more like it's throwing a, a, a light on issues that we have. And so, as a political here, what are you going to tell Ghanaians to do? Well, it, you know, okay. it, which will um, at some point represent in your art. Well, maybe I'll say people should pay more attention mm -hmm. and also try to remember. Mm -hmm. You know, we shouldn't forget the patterns, you know, our behavior patterns when it comes to politics and elections and where it has led us today. Mm -hmm. So if we are going to repeat those patterns, then it would also maybe mean we are not going to be able to fix whatever um, yeah. problems we find ourselves yeah. in. Yeah. So people need to be more vigilant and be more demanding mm -hmm. of accountability from yeah. the people in power because um, according to the law, these people are supposed to be in those positions to mm -hmm. serve us. Mm -hmm. you know? So I'll just, my short message to Ghanaians would be that you know, people should know uh, what kinds of rights they have mm -hmm. and be able to demand those right. responsibilities mm -hmm. from the people we have put yeah. in positions of power to, yeah. to serve us. Quickly, what's your relationship like with One Love and has he... Oh. <laughs> I like that. I like that side. Yeah. Has, he, has, he, has he influenced you in any yeah. way when it comes to yeah. art? One Love is... Um, right now, I'd say he's a friend, okay. but he has always been one of the very important artists whose work has influenced me. I have like a long list of artists whose work and okay. their practice have been, but one love is definitely up up the up list. The shelf. Yes. Wow. Why is that? How did you um I feel oh, I think a lot of uh visions align. Oh. Yeah and and the moment when I decided that I wanted to do political or social commentary, I found work he was also doing, not just him, uh, Mensa Ansan, mm. and a long list of other artists. And um, I remember I reached out to him, and he was very inviting. He invited me to his studio. Mm. He shared a lot of his ideas with me, and then I took those home and you know, made what I make now yeah. out of them. So, okay. And we are, we are in constant communication now. Wow. We, we've become 
collaborators even. Mm. Wow. And mm. yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's really amazing. One of Anka Langasano, oh yeah, hey. Uh, <laughs> please your final words before we wrap up the show um yeah i i i think uh maybe this message will go to the artists mm -hmm. i think uh artists should be free to create whatever kinds of art that they want to create that is the one of the basic rules or laws of this thing that we do mm -hmm. but i also think artists have a certain responsibility only they can play in the societies or communities that they participate in. Mm. And so, personally, I would like to see more artists step up to the plate and contribute actively or intentionally towards sending people's minds to where we know they need to be. Mm. Because uh, Ghana is in a very uh, interesting state right now. Not interesting in a good way, but interesting in a not so good way. Mm. And there are certain um, solutions only artists can come up with. Mm. So um, perhaps when we are done chasing the bag, you know, let's try and also actively um, give back to community. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bryce Akai, for joining are us. You uh, are you a Kobe? Kobe. Are you a Kobe? Are you a Yao? Are you a Kobe? Uh, yeah, if, if I was from there, I'd be a Kwame. Oh, okay. Because thank you that he's not a good one. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, um, Mr. Akwe, <laughs> on the show. And you as well for joining us here on the show. Thank you so much for always choosing us every morning. We're back here tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. My name is Lebany Mensa. It's been a jam-packed show. I know you did enjoy it as much as we did right here on the show. Definitely, when we're off camera, make sure you join us on our socials. It's MX24GH across board. My name is Kojo Dasubra. We'll see you same time tomorrow, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's bye-bye for now.